All right, Blues, it's Alex outside Villa Park. I can't believe it. I've just watched City draw nil-nil with the Premier League basement boys, Aston Villa. It was a difficult watch, wasn't it? I think this is a game that we really had to get something from more than a point. I talked about after the Norwich game, City won in 2-1 quite towards the end in a difficult game. Norwich made it very hard for us, but we came out and we won, and that's what champions do. You win when you play badly. Today, we didn't look like champions. We looked like a good side, but a good side on a bad day, but not like champions. And that is when the alarm bells start to ring. Going forward, we couldn't seem to find the final ball, the final touch. Bonnie's got injured. That is a worry because that leaves us without a striker other than Kelechi, who a lot of people would have liked to have seen come off the bench. That was a bizarre, bizarre decision from Pellegrini, but in Pellegrini we trust. Individual performances were quite promised, and I thought Raheem Stern had a good game today, if only a tough time of it. He looked positive, worked really hard, chased after every ball right up until the final whistle. All right, he dived horrendously. Probably should have been booked in the first half for his dive. Second half probably should have had a penalty, so it all evens out. But it's a difficult day for him. It's other players in the team that we look to, though, to perform when we're playing badly. Players like Yaya Torre, who, quite frankly, was dire today. Absolutely dog biscuit. Really didn't seem to perform. Just not interested. All right, it's Villa away. It's raining, but you paid 200 grand a week, Yaya. You need to be getting up for these games. Let us know what you make of his performance today in the comments. That's what they're there for. Make sure you're commenting. Am I being too harsh? Do we need to see more from him? Sure, we were looking for a long-term replacement. And speaking of midfield replacements, Fabian Delph came off the bench today to a hey, interesting reception from the Villa fans. They have no right to complain about Delph. He is um, he did some stellar work for them there. He's moved to a bigger club. Get over it, boys. Your basement boys, Fabian Delph, he's top of the league. Well, for the time being, that's the point, City. We were seven points ahead at the top at the start of this season, and we've let that slip. We need to be... I mean, it, as we stand, as I'm talking now, City are one point ahead at the top of the league. It all depends on Arsenal, who are looking good this season. We need to be wary of them. We're still favourites for the league, whatever happens at Arsenal, but we need to make sure that after the international break, we get our act together and we start winning at places like Villa Park. This is Alex on Blooming Rising TV. Make sure you subscribe below.